Hello, welcome to another episode here in Elm Creek. So I just sold the, the field that I had finished harvesting and I purchased this oat field. I'm gonna harvest it, store the crops, just like I have been doing. And uh, it's pretty good one, so it'll take a while. So I'll let this, um, I'll let a lot of worker work on this while I do some other stuff. So I'm, I want to expand the farm, so I'm going to purchase another field. Uh, this field has cotton in it, it looks like it's growing, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. And uh, I'm going to purchase uh, an additional field, but I'm going to lease a uh, plow. Uh, right now there's nothing growing in it, so I'm just going to plow it, start from scratch. I'm going to expand it just a little bit, and my thought is to... Uh, grow grass and uh, eventually turn into hay. So one thing in this game you can turn off some of the settings as you may know um, but I just decided to leave plowing on just because it's a um, it's a very uh, time-consuming job but you don't have to do it very often, so um, I'm just going to leave it on. And yeah, I just want to expand this field just a little bit. Um, and this is just going to be a hay field for now. Uh, because my, my plan is to eventually have cattle. Um, so I want to you know, start storing up some hay for that. These two fields may eventually be eventually be home base for the farm, and so like down the road as I purchase additional fields, I might turn this into the barnyard area with uh, you know different sheds and a house and just stuff like that. It's kind of a central location for the farm. So my worker is, he stopped because he's full, so I'm going to uh, empty it out to the wagon. I need to get a, a second tractor, so I'm just going to get something small, uh, just to move wagons around and you know, implements and that kind of stuff, so I'm not going to get too crazy with uh, spending here, just something little. I think this, I think this Massey Ferguson, um, 3700 AL will, will work fine for now. Although it does look quite tiny compared to the, the wagon that I have. But I think it'll pull it okay for now. Oh, well, maybe once it gets full, it's not going to do so well. But I think it'll be a nice little workhorse. So once the canola field, this other field in front here, uh, right next door, um, once that one's ready to harvest, I'll harvest it and then I'll probably turn that space into an area for um, maybe an, an animal pen or uh, a barn. I won't leave it as a field after it's done with the cotton. Um, I'll likely purchase one of these other fields here as a, as a main you know, crop area, but I I just I like this this spot for um, kind of a you know the main hub. Eventually, I need to get a a, a bridge put through the the ditch there. I'm sure there's uh, I'm sure there's a mod for that somewhere. 
be kind of neat to have a, a passageway, an aqua passageway through there. So um, I grabbed my cedar, and like I said, I'm this is just going to be a hay field, so I'm just going to plant grass, and it looks like, yeah, this field will need rolled too. Um, my other field with the canola in it is going to need rolled, so po probably once I'm done seeding, I'll get a roller, and that that that's another new feature of this game is rolling you can turn the rocks off too but since it's new I figured I'd give it a give it a shot and see what it's like and it, it seems to be it's not a, I don't think it's a huge hassle or anything so I'll just I'll just leave it for now maybe once I have several fields and it's like a lot of rolling then maybe I'll turn it off. I don't know. One thing about doing hay is it takes a lot of different implements, mowers and rakes and different balers. So I'll need to plan for that expense. I'll either purchase the equipment outright or lease it for now. I would probably lean towards purchasing, although I can look for um, used implements if any come up and just purchase those outright. Um, I'm just thinking about purchasing just because if I'm going to be doing hay long term, uh, eventually it would pay off. Um, we'll just have to see how much money I have when the, when the time comes. So yeah, it looks like everything is good for right now in the field. Just needs to be rolled. Nice, so this, uh, my worker is almost done with this field. Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a decent amount of um, oats in this uh, wagon to uh, go store. There's some, there's some grain bins not too far from this field, so that that's nice for uh not having to build any you know grain bins or silos right now then i'll just wait till the price is fairly high and sell it and just you know turn that money back into expanding the farm So I, I sold the field I just harvested, I'm going to purchase this additional field. This will be ready to harvest, I'll probably do that in the next episode. And I've got my roller, drop that, uh, let me um, empty this out and then I'll head back over to the next field that I'm going to harvest and just uh, be ready for that. One, one other nice feature I, I like about this game is you can have your uh, tractors drive to a location for you and hire somebody to drive it. You can just set the destination and it'll go there. So they, uh, my harvester was not smart enough to go around. It was just sitting there stuck. So I had to go around the buildings there to get to where I wanted it to go. I don't know what my plan is for this area long term. It's a decent sized field, so I'll probably leave it like that, or most of it, leave most of it um, plantable. I might turn where that fire pit is, I might turn some of that into, I don't know, maybe like a, put a little barn there, storage, or maybe a, a grain bin down the road. But this will probably be one of my 
main fields. I'll just I'll just leave it as that because it's a decent size. So ro rolling the fields, not too terrible, especially since you can get like a decently wide roller, so it makes it go pretty quick. But it looks like it just pushes the rocks down. So I'm just going to store my two items, my two implements under the trees for now. And I'm going to go get uh, ready for next episode when I harvest this field. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.